Hello everyone, welcome and thanks for enrolling in Flat Animation Animate Objects in Adobe After Effects course. In this course, we're gonna design this awesome object step by step in Adobe Illustrator, but you can use Adobe After Effects to design your objects if it's easier for you, and then we will animate it in Adobe After Effects. Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to design our object in Adobe Illustrator. So without wasting time, let's create a new document. From menu, select File new or press ctrl n as a shortcut here we have several presets for example mobile web print film and video and art and illustration i choose art and illustration preset and here you can select a unit for your document i want to use this file in a video so i prefer to use pixels instead of points as a matter of fact points unit is suitable when you want to print a document okay i change width and height to 1000 pixels and I will show you how to change these numbers after creating a document. So press create button. This white and empty document called artboard in Adobe Illustrator. If you need ruler to design an accurate object from menu select view, rulers, show rulers or press ctrl R or command R. Okay. Now if you want to change artboard dimensions from menu select file document setup. Here you can change units and by clicking on edit artboard button. We can change the position and dimension for this artboard. Here we can change width value and height value. For this project, I prefer to use 1000 pixels for width and height. These X value and Y value boxes indicate position of this artboard on the screen. As you can see, these values are changing when I move this artboard on the screen. Okay, click on a tool in toolbox to exit artboard editing mode. Another way to change artboard is using artboard tool or you can press shift O, okay? If you can see this toolbar up here from menu select window control, and now you can edit artboard dimensions. Okay, before starting to design, let me show you how to navigate in Adobe Illustrator. To pan on the screen, you can hold a spacebar and left click your mouse and drag around. To zoom in, hold control key and press plus button on your numpad. To zoom out, hold Ctrl key and press minus button on your numpad. To fit artboard to your screen, press Ctrl 0. And to see artboard in 100% size, press Ctrl 1. Okay? In this course, we're gonna use an image as a reference to create our object in Illustrator. So let's import reference image into this artboard. From menu, select File, Place, or press Ctrl Shift P. Select reference image and press Place button. You can find this reference image in download section for this course. To place this image on the screen, you can simply click or you can click and drag to specify the size of this image. If you want to change image size, you can select one of these points and move it around. And if you want to change its scale uniformly, you have to hold shift key. Okay, click on this layer button to see all layers. If you can see this panel from menu select window layers or press F7. Okay, double click on layer name and rename it to reference. If you want to design an object that is exactly identical to your reference image, I highly recommend you to make another copy of this image and put it on your artboard. So hold alt key and select and drag this image. By doing this, we have another copy. Maybe you ask why do we need this small reference image here? I use this small reference to pick colors for all layers, okay? Now move this new copy to center and hold Alt and Shift key and scale it uniformly to fit to the artboard. Now, as you can see here, we have two reference image layers. Select this new big reference layer and from menu choose Window Transparency or press Shift Ctrl F10. Or from this section, you can press Transparency button. Now you can reduce opacity value here to make it transparent. Okay? Now in layer panel, we can lock reference layer to avoid accidentally selecting these two images. Now I want to create a background like this reference image for my design. So click on this create new layer button and rename it to background. Click on rectangle tool and for fill color, select the color and for extra color, select none. Now click and drag in artboard to create a background. Now I want to add a gradient to my background like this reference image. So click on this gradient tool and then click on background layer. 
Now zoom back by pressing Ctrl minus key and move your mouse around this small square to see rotate handle for this gradient. Hold Shift key and rotate it 90 degrees and move gradient to cover entire background layer. Double click on top circle and click on color picker then click on top of reference image to pick its color. Ok, move your mouse somewhere like here and now you will see a plus sign beside your mouse icon so click to create a new circle, double click on it and by color picker select a color from image. Again follow the same process to create another circle under previous circle, move this circle close to previous circle to create a sharp edge between them and finally double click on this bottom circle and pick a color from reference image. Now if you want to change colors for these circles, you can select each of them and double click on this color box and change it. Ok, now drag background layer on the reference layer and lock it. We have created our background layer successfully. Now everything is ready for designing our object. So first of all we must create a new layer and drag it between background layer and reference layer and rename it to design. Now I want to create a rectangle for this object. So click on rectangle tool and here you can select a color for fill color and select none for a stroke color. Now click and drag in artboard to create this rectangle shape. Click on selection tool or press V key. Now hit Ctrl and plus key to zoom in and move these edges to make a rectangle exactly identical to a reference image. Ok, to have round corners for this rectangle, exactly like reference image, select this small circle and drag it to the inside. Or let me show you another method. So I hit Ctrl Z to undo and from menu select Window, Transform or press Shift F8. In Rectangle Properties section, be sure to activate this Link Corner Radius Values button to have identical roundness for all corners and then increase this number until you see same roundness for all rectangle corners. Ok, this is our body object. Now I want to design these circles to create a door for this washing machine. So select Ellipse tool or hit L key. Click almost in center of the circle and hold Alt and Shift key to draw a perfect circle from the center. By holding Alt key you can draw a circle from center and by holding Shift key you can draw a perfect circle instead of an ellipse. Now zoom in and press arrow keys on your keyboard to find the best place for this circle and match it to reference image. While this circle is still selected press I key to activate eyedropper tool and click on this circle to pick its color. Ok, hit V key to activate selection tool. Now I want to have another circle so press Ctrl C to copy it into memory and then press Ctrl F to paste new circle exactly over this circle layer. Hold Shift and Alt keys to expand it uniformly to create our second circle. Now zoom in and check if it's exactly identical to our second circle in reference image. While this new circle is still selected, press I key to activate eyedropper tool and click on second circle to pick its color. Now in layer panel if you want to select a layer you have to click on this small circle. Ok, click on second circle and drag it under first circle. Now click on this small circle icon to select this layer and hit Ctrl C and Ctrl F to create a new circle. And again hold shift and alt key to scale this new circle uniformly. Ok, press I key and pick color from big circle in reference image and finally drag this big circle under these two circle layers. Now I want to create this highlight so I can duplicate this small circle. This time I hit Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. As you can see Illustrator duplicates this layer in a new position. Move it over highlight in reference image and then press I key and with eyedropper tool pick color from reference image. Now I want to cut this new circle layer from the edge of this small circle. To do this select this small circle, hold shift key and select this new circle. And now from toolbar click on shape builder tool or hit shift M. If you can't see some of these tools, maybe you are not in advanced toolbar mode. So from menu select Window, Toolbar, Advanced. 
If you choose basic, you will not see some of these useful tools, so always activate advanced toolbar mode. Now, while all objects are still selected, click on Shape Builder tool, and as you can see, when I move my mouse over these two circles, we can see three highlighted sections. By default, you can see a plus sign beside your mouse icon, and by clicking on each one of them, you can separate that section. By holding Alt key, you can see a minus sign beside your mouse icon, and it means if you click on each section, you will separate and delete it immediately. Now I want to create this small highlight circle. So you can duplicate it from this inner circle or from toolbar select ellipse tool. And let me choose white for its color and none for a stroke. And hold Alt and Shift and click and drag to create a small circle. Now let's create these two small rectangular highlights. So select rectangle tool and create a rectangle. For now, I change its color to something different. Now I want to rotate it, so from toolbar select rotate tool. As you can see, here on center of this shape, we have a pivot point called center, that it means center of rotate. So hold shift key and click and drag it to the left edge of the rectangle. Now go to the right side of this rectangle and click and move your mouse to rotate this object around that center pivot point. Hit V key to activate the selection tool and move this rectangle to put its center pivot point over the center of this small circle. Now, let me create a new layer over design layer. In this layer, I want to add two guidelines to find center of this small circle and lock this guide layer. Now, move rectangle shape to this new position. Again, move center pivot point to the left edge over center point of a small circle. And finally, rotate this rectangle to match it to the reference image. Now activate selection tool, hold alt key and move this point to change its shape. Now to create second highlight shape, press ctrl C and ctrl F, select rotate tool, move center pivot point to this edge and rotate the rectangle. Activate selection tool, hold alt key and move this point to shrink it. Now I want to cut this rectangle shape from the edge of this big circle. So select big circle, hold shift key, and select this rectangle. From toolbar, click on Shape Builder tool, hold Alt key and click on this part of the rectangle shape to separate and delete it. Do same process for second rectangle, select it, then select Big Circle, click on Shape Builder tool, hold Alt key and click on outside part of the rectangle shape. Now we need to arrange layer orders, so select these two rectangle layers and drag them under a small circle. Now, while they are still selected, press I key and pick a color from reference image. And from menu, select Window, Transparency, and decrease the opacity. Or maybe I can change the color to white and again reduce the opacity value. Okay, in next video, we're gonna design other objects. So, thanks for watching and see you in next video.